Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22, which is a Primark haul. So, on Sunday the 11th, I want to say it was the 11th of August, we actually visited the world's biggest Primark, which is in Birmingham. It is on four floors, one, two, three, four, five, five floors, although technically one of them's just like a little mezzanine floor, it just has like a little coffee bar, so four floors, just say four floors. And it has a hairdresser's, it has a nail and beauty salon, it has a barber shop, come coffee bar place. It has like two cafes and it also has that little mezzanine coffee bar thing that I was telling you about. Oh, and one of the cafes is a Disney cafe, did I mention that? It has a Harry Potter shop, it has its own Disney section, but then Disney is also spread out throughout the store. It is massive, it's a freaking TARDIS, I already said this in my vlog, it is a TARDIS. It's deceptive on the outside, it's quite small on the outside. We arrived at it and I was like, this isn't it. We're at the wrong one because I think there's two in Birmingham. But I went in and double checked and we were definitely at the right one. I knew we were at the right one because there was a Disney cafe. I will link the vlog in the description below for anybody that wants to go and check it out. So, this big massive Primark, huge inside. And actually, I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed by it. I'm just going to go put it out there and say it. I was a little bit disappointed by the world's biggest Primark. So, you think being the world's biggest Primark, it would just have more of a range of products than any other Primark. But honestly, I hadn't seen anything that I hadn't seen in any other Primark. It was just more spread out, better merchandise and you had a lot more room to shop in, which was actually one of the positives of shopping there. It wasn't as crowded and cramped. I mean, it was busy. It was really busy, but you didn't feel it as much as you do in a regular Primark because it was just so much more spread out. Not only were the products more spread out, but so were the people. So it was actually a lot more pleasant to shop in than any other Primark that I've been in before. And I've been in quite a few Primarks. There just wasn't a big a range of other products that I thought there would be there. In particular, I was really excited about the Harry Potter shop and honestly, I've seen all that stuff before in other Primarks. They didn't have anything that they've not got in any other Primarks. I think I'll say that over and over again. It was just a section where they kept all the Harry Potter stuff together and it was quite cute. They had more um, theming around it, the Harry Potter, they had the big, all the luggages stacked up and stuff and yeah, it, it was cute, I just was so disappointed because I thought they would have so much more stuff because they have an exclusive Harry Potter shop. It was the same with the Disney items, nothing that I hadn't seen before. The women's section was the same old crop tops or if you didn't fancy a crop top, you could get a very long top that went down to your knees oversized tops, that's what they're called, oversized tops. So I'm not into the crop tops and I'm not into the oversized tops. I just want tops, like tops that just fit me. I did enjoy the Disney cafe. That was quite cute and it was quite well themed. It could have been better themed, is probably a criticism that I would have about it. It could have been better. They could have went all out with that Disney theme and but they didn't. It wasn't like a proper cafe. I thought they would have more of a range of food or stuff. But that was actually fine because I really only wanted like a little sandwich or something and I got a, it wasn't a baguette, it was like a long soft roll, with it, a sub. <laughs> I am forgetting names for things. I had a sub and, was it cheese and ham? I think it was cheese and ham and salad and I, had, I shared that with Mark, we halved it because it was quite a big sub. I would never have eaten that all myself and I had a latte and Ali and I shared the Mickey waffles and actually I was quite pleasantly surprised about the prices of things in the Disney cafe. It wasn't overpriced at all. I think I said it in my vlog, it was actually cheaper than Costa and Starbucks and it's a similar type of thing to Costa and Starbucks. So it wasn't very expensive actually in the slightest. One thing that I did like, apart from the room and how much more pleasant it was to shop there, was the boys section. They had a bigger variety of stuff for boys. Usually you get a tiny little section for boys stuff, especially Ali's age boys stuff. 
and it's my bathroom's bigger than usually the boys section at Primark but they had a big big section and I was going to get I think I got Ali one item and we wanted he wanted this tracksuit this cream tracksuit have you seen the vlogs you know Mark's hoodie that he got it was similar to that and there's no freaking way I'm buying Ali that because he plays football, he gets muddy, he gets stain on his, stains on his clothes, he's not getting that, he needs dark clothes. But I did enjoy the selection of boys stuff that they had and I also really liked the men's section. Now I never usually go in the men's section at Primark but because Mark was with us and he was shopping down in the men's section for hours, he actually shopped longer than me and the one floor that he had compared to the three floors that the women have. So I went down to go and see what he was up to and I even got myself a couple of t-shirts for the men's section because I couldn't find what I was looking for in the women's section. Oh, another thing that I actually meant to mention was I was looking for all the Friends merchandise because Primark are doing really good with the Friends merchandise at the minute, but actually they didn't even have as much as the Edinburgh store have in this Primark, so I was disappointed in that too. But anyway, men's section was great, the men's section was awesome, and actually, let's start getting on to this haul now. I actually got this friends top. It's a t-shirt from the men's section. And this is literally what I had in my head that I kind of wanted. I was wanting just a simple friends t-shirt with a logo over the front. That was all that I was looking for and I couldn't find that in the women's section. I found a really nice white jumper that I was going to buy until I went down to the main section and I saw this, I was like, no, I need this. I need more t-shirts rather than jumpers in my life at the minute. So let's continue with the haul. I'll show you my bag. My bag is in such a state, I don't know, people, I hope it's not just me that this happens to with the Primark bags. So, like I said, I bought a couple of t-shirts in the men's section. This friends one which was six pound and I got this in a large and then I saw this Avengers one. Which I just really liked the blue colour of it and that was also six pounds but when I tried the large on it was a little bit too tight so I got the extra large in this. I don't understand sometimes the sizing in Primark because this is a large and they're basically the same t-shirt so why am I getting one in a large and one in an extra large? Who knows but I really like this Avengers one. I didn't really get too much in the Harry Potter section but I did pick up this Hogwarts t-shirt. I just liked, I actually liked the black speckled top and obviously Hogwarts forever. Hogwarts forever. So I got that in an extra large as well. I was just, wasn't even going to the changing rooms to try this stuff on. I was just trying it on over the top that I already had on. Yeah, I like that. That was £6 as well. I was trying to look for tops that weren't all, you know, themed around Harry Potter, Disney, Friends, Avengers. You know, I was trying to find tops that just weren't themed. They were just nice plain tops. And I couldn't find any that I really liked. Like I said, they were all crop tops are oversized, but I did see this one randomly at the check just before I got to the checkout. This I just really like the colour of this, and it's like normal size at the front, and it has a little bit a longer bit at the back, and I just I really like the colour. I don't know how well that shows up. It's like a really dark green. I just really liked it, and again, it's still like a t-shirt, and I got that in a medium actually, and that's me trying it on over the top that I already had. So I'm not sure if this was meant to be oversized, but I got a medium. So I've got a medium, a large, and two extra large t-shirts now, but they all fit me fine. They're not too big or anything on me. This was four pound, this top. And honestly, it was the only plain kind of top that I found that I liked. And like, we were there for three hours. It wasn't like I didn't look. Have you seen the vlog from when we went to Primark? I think it was uploaded on Thursday night. I will put it in the description below if I haven't already said that. You will have seen me trying on the oversized Mickey sweater. Ali was wanting to video something so he videoed me trying on that Mickey sweater. And I had that in my basket. I was going to buy it. Then we went to another floor and I found the Friends jumper that I was talking about. And that was also white. And I thought I'd rather have the Friends one. So I put the Mickey one back, picked up the Friends one, put that in. And then we got to this other section which was all Disney sweaters and they had so many. I've already said I put the Friends one back when I got the t-shirt but I also had the um, 
a Winnie the Pooh one and a Minnie Mouse one in my basket at that point and then I just decided just to get the Minnie Mouse one because I'm not sure the Winnie the Pooh one was my colour. It was like Winnie the Pooh coloured, you know, that yellowy colour, yellowy, mustardy, orangey, I don't know what colour Winnie the Pooh is, but it was the colour of Winnie the Pooh and I just didn't feel that it was my type of colour. But I did get this Minnie Mouse one, which I love. And as you can see, it's an extra large. Oh my God, I love this. This is so cute. I also didn't want to like have too many themed jumpers. Isn't that cute? And you know, it's not quite jumper weather yet. It's not quite jumper weather yet. I know we've had all the rain and everything that you would have seen in the vlogs. It rained the whole way from Edinburgh to Southampton. It's still warm weather. We've had sunshine on other days this week and that. I just don't feel that it's quite sweater weather yet. So in a couple of months or a month even, let's be realistic, in a month or so, when sweater weather is proper kicking in, like the autumn or the fall if you're American, I will go back to Primark and pick up some sweaters. And the last clothing item that I have to show you is actually something that I did get Ali. And this was also something that was picked up in the men's section. He just loves this. He absolutely loves it. And we got this in an extra small. He's getting to that age now where he's starting to fit into the men's stuff. And that was £8. I do like the colours in it. So that was all the clothing. I'll just show you the few bits of Disney items that I got. The Disney merch. So I got these little candles. It says eat. I just heard Ali singing. It says eat, sleep, Disney, repeat. And it smells really nice. There was another another couple actually, I can't remember what they said, Disney for life or something? I don't know what the other one said but I picked this one based on the smell. Hmm, my typical vanilla scent that I like. And they were 2 dollars each so not too cheap but I mean not too expensive either and I did get two of them because one's a gift and one's for me. I also got this little plaque is that what they're called? A hanging plaque? Just says Disney Life. Because I liked it and it was only £2. So, when I do eventually decorate my room, I don't know how many times I have said that over the last six months, we've just not got round to it yet. Got round to going for the paint and stuff. So, when I do eventually do it, I want to have the wall above my computer table and that. I'm just going to have all different prints and plaques and stuff like that. Do you know, stuff that means a lot to me. So Disney's one of those things, so. Hmm. And I also got myself a little chip mug. I don't know why I've never bought one of these before. I don't know why I haven't got a chip mug already. I have a chip mug shaped purse that I got at B&M for like a pound or something. But now I have my very own mug and no, I will not use them as a mug. He was five pounds, was it? Yeah, he was five pound and oh God. Doesn't everybody love chips though? And the last Disney item that I got was the teapot's tail, which it was two pound. And this is one of the checkout buys, you know, the stuff they have by the checkout. And I got this for one of my nieces for the Christmas Eve box. I wanted to get quite a few items of Friends merch. They didn't have anything. I basically got what they did have. This t-shirt, maybe should have got the jumper or I will get the jumper in the future. But as in items wise, all they had was this door hanger which says I'd rather be watching Friends which I like but it's not for me um, and I got those pens which says you can't see it because of the sticker over it but it says you are my lobster and it's got a little lobster topper on top and these were 150 and they were down to 50p so bargain, I got two. I got one for myself and one for a gift. And the very, 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 very last item that I got was just a random checkout buy again. And it was these cleansing wipes, the cucumber ones. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23. We're almost there. We're almost there.